Hey guys, very welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on uh, YouTube, Medium, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, DanielRoso.tech. So for this video, uh, what I want to be looking at here, we are continuing with the Synology DS920 Plus Backup Madness, and uh, this has actually been a uh, historical day for me in backups, which. Uh, um, I uh, I generally don't spend all my time thinking about backups, is the truth. But uh, this uh, NAS that Synology has sent me has certainly put me into a bit of a backup frenzy, working on things and improving things. So uh, I did get the um, I just got an R sync running. I have an R sync running. I should actually say, Let's see if it's still going. Um, looks like it's just actually nearing its completion. Um, that's on my web hosting, and I'm just pulling stuff in to the NAS directly so I'm I basically SSH'd into the NAS um, and then I uh, used rsync over SSH um, up from the NAS uh, in order to pull down uh, my web hosting and this is exciting to me because I've been um, backing up the cPanels that I really care about and uh, <clears throat> I back up stuff at cPanel level because I don't really trust WordPress backups not that I don't trust them I have a staging site for my WordPress sites and uh, a few other things uh, on those hosting accounts which would not be co covered just by backing up the WordPress um, so that's the way I do it but obviously full backups are very very inefficient uh, pulling out the whole uh, backup every time I talked a little bit the last uh, video about the difference between differential backups which are uh, differential like delta chain delta change um, between full backups and incremental which is a succession of uh, very small backup slices uh, but the negative being that uh, you have to have a chain rsync is different it's just the it's a backup of a data stream it's just at the bit and byte level um, of what's changed in the whole pool of data since it last ran so it's very very efficient um, if you're going to be using it for several restore points it's a little bit more complicated to get that running but just to have one rsync to use a mirror a mirror system in which you have your source and destination kept um, kept a mirrored to protect against uh, data loss on the source it's very very useful and much much more efficient than taking full backups um, so that's my breakthrough today but uh, for this video we are going to be returning to look at backups for the Linux desktop so um, the tool I'm going to be using today is Cloudberry Backup, which is going to come up on the screen presently. Now, um, the yesterday's video—it's all on my YouTube, I guess. At the same, going to be at the same time probably. But uh, I looked at GR Sync, and GR Sync is just the kind of most basic uh, G GUI GUI for R Sync um, that you can really get. Um, and I pointed out it did work. We ran it. We created a. Uh, shared storage just for, just for it on the NAS on the Synology NAS um, but as I pointed out its deficiencies are really that it's uh, it's kind of too basic actually for really uh, hardcore use so uh, Cloudberry um, is is kind of a step up in that respect so what I'm going to do firstly is uh, I'm going to just delete um, the plan I just made in fact and we're going to start this process from scratch whoops uh, delete so what I've done is in my uh, DSM, the uh, management operating system for my Synology NES, I've gone ahead and created a shared storage uh, bucket. Uh, I call them buckets. I know that's not what they are. They're kind of network shares. But I've gone cre I've created a network share, just called it Cloudberry with a capital C to make it easy to figure out what goes where. So I'm going to create a backup plan firstly, and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get rid of this guy or even though it's working because I want to show how this is ah there we go um, alright so I'm going to add a uh, this is the thing this is the first stage in creating a backup plan is and I, I like the way Cloudberry does this it's very logical uh, very logical that you start with your destination then you look at your source what you want to back up uh, and then you have a plan and you can save those plans you can see in the left hand side of my screen where, where my plans are and below those my uh, backup storage repositories so it's, I, I really like this program so okay um, you basically you, process of elimination we can figure out what what are not the right options it's not S3 Azure or Google Cloud 
or Oracle and you can see uh, just in passing uh, that this is a really great tool if you are storing backing stuff up off-site to the cloud they really cover all the major ones all the way from Alibaba Cloud, Wasabi, uh, Backblaze B2 my favorite so really uh, very well covered in terms of protocol supported. Um, now I could do file system but I haven't actually uh, mounted succeeded in mounting the NAS yet to my uh, to the Linux file system here so instead I'm going for SFTP and I'm just going to do an, an SFTP transfer over the local area network here um, the server is just the local IP of the NAS 07 and uh, the path the path and uh, this went wrong on me before it's a bit finicky is one forward slash then it is uh, the share name and uh, port 22. I've created a user called demo, given him a password, and let's hope. There we go, successful. That's rather delightful that things work out of the box. All right, so I'm going to select my cloud storage as NES. That's a bit of a misnomer because uh, um, it's a it's a local cloud. It's a cloud. It's the the cloud is the uh, network attached storage on our local network, which is a sort of cloud. Uh, I pointed out before in um, various you know things that people think of clouds as only off-site but this is a local privately owned cloud in effect continuing with the operation and calling this back a plan full disk to um, NES uh, I'm not going to go for block level backup now here is where you select uh, and I'm just while I'm going to do this Linux uh, backing, uh, backing up Linux folders to skip. I'm just gonna do. I'm not gonna get this 100% right the first time. But essentially, when you're backing up a Linux file system like the one I'm backing up here, you never want to back up the entire file system. Now, I am gonna do that. Firstly, I'm gonna tick, um, starting at. You can see starting at the root of the hierarchy of my Linux desktop here. Uh, this is one I definitely don't want. I've created this myself called backup. Uh, what else? What else? Someone pointed out I shouldn't back up PR. I'm reading in the in the side window uh, thread on serverfault.com. PRO PROC definitely not. Uh, mount definitely not. Full full. If it's a full re system restore, you can omit proc boot and dev. So let's just keep it at that. Proc boot. Dev. We're going to keep everything else except for now you can drop down into hierarchy and I have uh, within this is now in my home user folder here and I have Google Drive mounted to a mount point so we definitely do not want to back up our Google Drive and I have my P cloud up mounted to a mount point. Now obviously if I am backing up uh, if, uh, if anyone who's seen my uh, GitHub backup documentation I do things separately, so if you know I'm backing up my Google Drive and my P Cloud to always three two one compliant uh, to another cloud and then to my NAS, but uh, I do that separately. So if I did um, back this up, uh, capture these guys in my, I like to you know keep things separate basically. Actually, speaking of which, I'll take away my Git folder as well because uh, that would be more duplication by backing up all my Git. Uh, repositories. One thing to point out, I have a few virtual machines here in my VMware, uh, Kali, Ubuntu and Linux uh, Windows 10. These are obviously very very heavy. Now uh, you may not want to back these up uh, for that reason. You might want to again do this separately. So just be just be aware that these are going to be heavy files. I'm going to continue uh, back up all files. If you do want to capture the hidden files, uh, go for this guy. Do not, sorry, untick this option. I'm not going to go for compression and encryption and actually to be honest I don't actually have a choice in the matter because uh, it's not included in the free plan. Um, I'm just using the free plan. I don't actually use, um, although that might change, up to now uh, Cloudberry has been taken care of for me uh, for my on-site backups by Timeshift and uh, Timeshift does not support network backups so I might actually start using this in which case I might upgrade um, and get the compression and the encryption. Um, I'm not going to specify your attention policy. Now here is the advantage over uh, GR Sync in that we can create a backup schedule. Uh, so um, how often should we run this? It's going to be an it's going to be a 
uh, not a full backup. It's just going to check for what we've uh, pulled previously. I think weekly is fine. Uh, this is really um, going to just be a uh, a first layer backup for me. Um, in addition to my harder uh, clonezilla backup, which I'm planning on uh, figuring out tomorrow how to get that running over the network. So uh, basically, I'm just going to go for weekly. Um, run missed scheduled plan immediately upon boot up. So yes. So there's a high frequency because I do not run my computer all the time that uh, whenever a week elapses, it will be turned off. So uh, this is very important. And basically under the hood, you've certain, you've, you know, you have different types of cron jobs and uh, ones that will run if you miss them. It's not letting me continue. It doesn't like something here. Uh, what did, What went wrong? Ah, it's not letting me do a schedule. All right, well, we'll fit you up. What? Okay, we'll figure we'll figure out the schedule stuff later. Let's just get this running. Um, now, email notifications. I recommend ticking changing this to in all cases, uh, because you know if it fails, it's good to get that info too. So I'm gonna call this full disk uh, NAS backup. Alrighty. Click on continue and it tells you the confirmation email is going to be sent. And uh, tick run plan now to get it going. And here we go. Now it's running. So the moment of truth is uh, is going to be involved. So actually, I'm going to delete quickly, hopefully before it starts. I will delete that folder on the NAS. And uh, re ah, it's already repopulated. That was instantaneous. So let me just show you what I'm seeing quickly here. I'm going to go into the uh, NAS through DSM. Uh, 192. I'm just going to pop this back for a second while I log in. As I do that, you can see that it's running in Cloudberry very nicely, if I may say so myself. Uh, we're looking for Cloudberry, Cloudberry, Cloudberry. Beautiful. All right, so um, here is DSM. Here is the Cloudberry shared folder I created. Uh, Cloudberry creates its own little folder called CBB underscore this, and uh, it's just working on uh, the OPT section uh, at the moment over here. Um, so that's basically it, uh, and you can actually compare. Look, you can see current files, OPT, buttercup something 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 and if you go into these we can see it's building the buttercup folder right now and it's uh, working away so just I do that always just to make sure things are working and uh, that's basically it that is how to run a uh, backup and now you can see it's in my backup plans uh, I'll figure out the scheduled stuff and uh, I could just be running that weekly in order to uh, create a uh, create a backup uh, of my whole uh, Ubuntu file system onto my NAS and of course because that lags if something happened you know that caused me to lose my file system in some way or break the file system I could just restore I could go into backup plan and click the restore button and it would pull all those backup files from the NAS and overwrite them on my local file system so uh, that is it uh, thank you for uh, watching the video and uh, until next time, and any qu any uh, queries are reaching out to me, uh, I always give my uh, website at the end of these uh, videos. It's uh, danielrosel.co.il. Thanks for watching. Until next time.